Hi, and welcome back to another FAST class. I'm Travis, a marketing specialist here at Savantis. Today, we'll be going over a helpful feature in Dynamics 365 that allows you to test the impact of different elements in your marketing emails, the built-in A-B testing tool. I'll walk you through some of the basic principles of A-B testing, how to use the tool in D365 marketing, and how to use your findings to improve future emails and campaigns. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. My colleagues are here to answer them throughout our FAST class today. We briefly mentioned A-B testing in a previous class called Interpret Email and Customer Journey Insights in D365 Marketing. We also touched on other email data points like bounce rate, click-through rate, and open rate, as well as customer journey data insights. You can check it out in the past classes section of the course site. Now let's go over a few basics and best practices to follow when A-B testing the content of your email. A-B testing is used to create two versions of your email to test the way a single small change can impact the results of your email or campaign. For example, using two different subject lines, colors for buttons, an image in the top versus the middle or the middle of the email. While they may seem like inconsequential decisions, they can actually affect the way that your recipients interact with the contents of your email and could even increase the ROI of these emails. The most important thing to remember is that A-B testing is only successful when you limit yourself to one variation at a time. That way you can analyze the effect of each individual change without trying to guess if it was because of a font size or image placement or subject line that generated better engagement. Testing one variation at a time keeps your results accurate and helps you to uncover to better uncover what kind of content or visual elements resonate most with your target audience. It's like a science experiment. You only test one variable at a time. Note that different CRM or email marketing platforms will do their A-B testing differently. In D365 marketing, the system will establish a test group to send both versions of your email to. Version A is sent to the first half of this group, while version B, the version with the variation, is sent to the other half. Then the system will analyze results to determine a winner, the one with the strongest analytics within a set duration, and send that version, send that version to the rest of your segment. Here is a diagram, courtesy of Microsoft, that illustrates this. In this example, the header changes, and that's the test. The winner is variation B with the click-through rate, or the percentage of people who opened the email versus clicked on any link within, of 35%. That's the winner, so the remaining audience would receive the purple header. Now let's try it out. So we'll navigate over to the email builder under marketing execution in D365, and then create your email. I have one already created here with an established color theme and a few different sections, buttons, images, and an animated image in the header. From here, I'll have to think about what element I want to test and uh, that will likely relate to what, what audience I'm sending this to and what results I'm hoping to achieve with this email. For example, if this is an email announcing a sale, you'll probably want to keep the text content as short as possible and instead focus on using visuals. And the element you test could be this email subject line or the colors used for the button that directs people to the sales section of your website. Whereas if you're sending out a newsletter, your audience is probably expecting an email with longer text across multiple sections and a variety of links and buttons, which can serve as your test elements. For example, using a call to action button that says browse new styles might garner different results than a button that says shop this sale. A-B testing will help you to see which phrasing works better for the campaign. I might find that a subject client says open for an exclusive discount might be more effective than saying 15% off select styles, or I could find that the opposite is true. So let's set up an A-B test version of the subject line. You'll see a panel pop up here on the right where I can type in a subject line, print or text, and set the to and from address information. And to the right of the panel, there's a smaller set of icons. This one right here is to set up an A-B test. So I'll click on it and I'll hit add test. And now I see a drop down menu with the different elements I can choose to test. I can test the header, the email body, or I can select something called full content, which will let me change elements from both the header and the email body. For this email, I'm going to stick with the header. I'm going to name the test winter sale subject line testing, and then select and then select to edit version A, which will be my control version. And then 
And so now when I click back in the panel to edit the subject line, I see an icon here that indicates version A of this email. I'll type in one version of my subject line and fill out the rest of my desired header information. Already got that here. It's very important to note that I'm not going to change any other elements in this email. Any changes you make to the body or other elements not included within your A-B test will be updated across both versions. Since I'm done with my email, it's time to create my experimental version with the variance in the subject line. I'll click back to the A-B testing, either in this dropdown up here, or I can just, again, click the small icon on the right. And then I'm going to select version B. Notice how all the other elements have been pre-filled for me according to version A, with the exception of the subject line. Now I have the opportunity to input a new version. Here, I'm going to say something that makes the recipient feel like they're getting a deal nobody else is getting. Maybe the exclusivity will be more enticing, and I'll get higher open rates after recipients see the subject line in their inbox. The difference between an image or a GIF in the header or adding personalizations to the subject line or greeting recipients by name could make a big difference in your engagement. We encourage you to get creative and play around with, el with different elements in your emails and see what makes the most sense for your goals. I'm not going to change anything else about my email per best practices of A-B testing, so it's ready to send in a customer journey. From there, I'll be able to set up the parameters I want to test, like the test group like the test group distribution, test duration, and which metric will be used to determine a winner. I've set up a standard single step customer journey like usual, and I can select the email I just created as the action top. From there, once I open the properties tab, that's where I'll set up the A-B testing for the email. So the change the subject line, I'm going to want to use an open rate as the winning metric rather than a click-through rate. Whereas if I chose to edit something related to a call to action like buttons or links in the email body, I'd probably choose the click-through rate as my winning metric. I'm going to just keep this set duration to six hours and the A-B testing, A-B distribution to the following, 10% will receive version A and 10% receive version B. And then the winners, the winner will be sent to the remaining 80%. I can also set a default version to send if the data pro proves to be inconclusive. In that case, the rest of my segment will receive version A. Even though I've indicated I'd like the open rate to be my, my measured, metric, measured metric for success, other things to keep in mind as you analyze the results of your email campaign would be overall conversions, web traffic, sales, and even increased overall revenue as a result. And that's a wrap for our first A-B test. After the journey sends, we'll be able to see insights much like a normal customer journey, but with this additional element. It can be, it really can be just that easy to A-B test, and you can begin to see major benefits in your metrics this way with very little work. What did this take us? A, just a few moments to create two versions of the same email. You will find yourself becoming more intuitive with your choices based on these results as you hone your testing. Experimentation is a risk, yes, but is also crucial for growing your audience, style, and your brand. The controlled, small impact experimentation of A-B testing can bring great results, and now we encourage you to try it out. Thank you so much for joining us in today's FAST class. We hope you found this topic helpful, and please let us know what other topics you'd like to see from our FAST classes within the topic suggestions, and it's in the course site. Next week, we'll jump back into Power Automate flows, and this time we will expand beyond the pre-built flows we discussed in previous FAST classes to build a flow from scratch using Dynamics 365 Sales as our example app. We hope you join us.